Back the time is now 625. Dry needling has been around for several years now, but has most recently gained in popularity right here in the Wiregrass area in the past year or so. And yesterday, we visited Southeast Health Westway Rehab in Dothan to get a firsthand look at how the medical procedure is done. Dry needling is a procedure that is performed using a very small needle, which is placed in muscles to help relieve pain and improve movement impairments. And because I have the early stages of arthritis in one of my knees, I was told the procedure might benefit me. So I decided to visit Southeast Health Westway Rehab to see what all of this dry needling hype is all about. When that needle goes in the muscle, it causes that muscle to recoil and relax. And so at that point, we can stretch a muscle that's been tight or been spasmed, or if that muscle has a painful spasm, we can stop that spasm and then that allows us to work around it and do some things we maybe wouldn't have been able to do to fix it. Dry needling is also used to treat a number of different issues such as neck pain, TMJ and even headaches. And so she has early arthritis in her knee um, so that's not technically a muscle issue however if you think of the knee as a muscular controlled joint where it's got space in between if those muscles are tight it can cause that knee joint to compress a little bit and cause that arthritic symptoms to be a little worse and so for someone like her we can take pressure off of the knee joint by releasing the muscles around it. Dry needling takes only seconds to perform and is virtually painless for most patients. It's more of a pressure feeling or a, almost a cramping sensation rather than a sharp uh, needle stick sensation. It has been compared to acupuncture, but physical therapists claim dry needling is much more effective. It's like a deeper form of acupuncture. So instead of going into the skin and leaving the needle there, we're actually going to go into the muscles themselves. And now the needle is a different shape than a normal needle, so it doesn't tend to leave, uh, leave blood or uh, make any marks, and it tends not to feel like a normal needle as well and it's just gained a lot of popularity because of how effective it is and how well we can get to muscles that you normally couldn't think of it as a comparison to a sports massage where somebody is rubbing you down and stretching you when we can get under those tissues we can get under the under muscles and under joints and under things um, so we can get places better that way than how we normally could have after getting dry needling a person should avoid working out the same day the procedure is performed and make sure you continue to stretch the muscle throughout the day